Having done with TCS interviews, some of the students got selected for Ninja and some of the students got selected for Prime and Digital Profile. But the students who got selected for Ninja Profile, they are little bit disappointed due to the low salary in hand. But do you know that even after getting selected in TCS, still you can upgrade your profile from Ninja to Digital and from Digital to the Prime. But the biggest question comes in, how we can upgrade our profile? Don't worry. In this video, I'm going to tell you the most important things that you should know to upgrade your profile even after joining the TCS. I request you to stay till the end of this video because in this video, I'm going to discuss the important things like which exam you need to give, what are the criteria for this exam, which are the study materials, and the most important thing is what is the passing criteria for this exam. So stay till the end of this video to get best out of it. I am Pramod Bosley working in TCS for digital profile since two years. Just in case if you are new to our channel, do subscribe the channel for more such informative videos. Now, without wasting any time, let's start the video. Now let's first discuss which exam do we need to view in order to upgrade our profile. So TCS basically conducts Wings 1 exam twice a year and this is the exam which will help you to upgrade your profile from Ninja to Digital and from Digital to the Prime. Depending upon your unit, you will be get allocated to the teams where all the doubts and the discussion of this exam will be discussed. Same time, one month before the exam, you will be get notification about registering the exam, criteria for this exam and many more things. So most important thing to notice here is that what is the exam pattern for this Wings 1. So this Wings 1 exam is basically classified into two parts. First part is technical part and second part is non-technical part. In technical part, during a time of registering the exam, there will be numerous tracks available for you. For example, Java, Python, Linux, SQL. Out of these tracks, you have to choose one technical track during a time of registering. Similarly, for non-technical section, there will be a tracks like how good you are in business communication, how good you are in professionalism, and how good you are in maintaining the security required for the business purpose. Now, the biggest question comes in, Pramod, you are telling all the exam patterns, but from where we can study all these things? Don't worry. At the end of this video, I'm going to tell you from where you can study for this exam. Now, I hope so that you are clear with the exam pattern and which exam do we need to give in order to upgrade our profile. So let's move on to the next part. That is, what is the criteria to register for this exam? Now, TCS conducts Wings 1 exam twice a year. Then it doesn't mean that any person is capable or eligible to give this exam. There are certain criteria and the eligibility things that you need to fulfill before you register for this exam. So basically what happened is, the day you join the TCS and you get allocated to the project, depending upon your performance in your project, your manager gives you the grades. So basically, there are three grades that is A, B and C. In order to get eligible for this exam, you should have at least A or B grade, which means the person who has grade C is not at all eligible for this exam. So make sure that whenever or whichever the project you got allocated, you perform well so that you can get grade at least A and B to register for this exam. I hope you got clear idea on what are the eligibility criteria to appear for this exam. Study material. Now we came to know that which exam do we need to give, what are the eligibility criteria for this exam, but the biggest question comes in from where we can prepare for this exam. Hold on, let me tell you from where you can prepare for this exam. So basically what happened is the day you get joined to the TCS, you will be getting access to the internal portal of TCS. So this is basically a portal in which all the news and resources related to the internal part of TCS are present. So basically what happened is in this sector, there is one section called as a resources to prepare for this exam conducted by TCS. In this section, there will be numerous tracks available for you that is for both technical as well as non-technical. So you can prepare for this exam from this section. I can tell you guaranteedly that if you prepare from this section, there is no any extra things that you need to prepare for this exam since most of the questions in the exams came from the, this section as well. So this was the part where you can know from where you can prepare for this exam. Now, as you are preparing for this exam and you gave the exam, the most important things comes in your mind is that what is the passing criteria for this exam? So let me tell you the passing criteria for this exam is in order to crack this exam, you need to have a distinction in both the section that is from technical and the non-technical as well. Now the biggest question comes in, Pramod, what if we don't have a distinction in one of the section? Don't worry. One of the most important and the beautiful part of this exam is that suppose you are unable to get a distinction in non-technical section. 
so while giving exam during next time you don't need to give the technical section because it is already clear in the previous exam so this is the most beautiful part of this exam so i hope so that you came to know everything about how you can upgrade your profile from ninja to digital and from digital to the prime so just in case if you are new to our channel and you completely love this video do subscribe the channel for more such informative videos